Hello guys, Cypri here from FF All. And uh, let's continue our uh, series on Open Foam. And in this video, I'll show you how to compile it. So by that, I mean how to download the source code and build your own custom uh, Open Foam installation. So this is very useful because if you want to uh, modify the source code and, and add your own function, your own solvers and all that, you will want to be able to do this kind of thing. So uh, let's go through the installation process and everything that is needed to, to actually do that. So I'm on Linux Ubuntu 18.04 uh, here. So let's go on the OpenFoam website and I'm heading towards the source repository link here on the main page. And here you have actually a description of what uh, you can install. So the OpenFoam re repository is where you will have all the so source code. And basically this is hosted on GitHub. So you have the link here if you want to look at the, uh, the raw source code before you actually um, install it. So you have repositories here and you see you have a lot of uh, different repositories for each open form versions and the one I'm going to install is the latest one, the dev version. So the dev version is the version that has been uh, actively developed. So this will uh, contain the source code for the, the next major release of OpenFoam. So basically, if, if some bugs have been fixed or things like this, this will all be integrated in this version. So let's, uh, let's go and let's start installing uh, software that you need for the compilation. So the software that you will need for compilation are all written here. And the way to install them is actually very easy because the, the command here to paste in the terminal is given. So I'll just copy and paste this command. But before I do that, let me explain quickly what those software are because they're very, they are very famous open source software and you want to know what these, these software actually do. So the first one is the compiler. So it's the GNU compiler that will be used to compile the code. Um, and you'll have to check which version you have because in function of the version, sometimes um, it can cause some, some changes. Um, then you have Flex, which is a fast lexical analyzer to read files of third, of third party formats. Then you have CMake, uh, which is used to build the software um, and especially to compile Paraview. Um, because uh, Paraview and CMake are uh, developed by Kitware, the uh, same company. So, uh, but CMake is is really a software that is used a lot uh, to compile many kinds of uh, open source software. Then you have Qt. So uh, Qt is uh, basically what is used to build the um, the front end uh, user interface of Paraview. Um, that's why you will need to have it. Um, and then you, you have Git, so Git is the version control software. So this is what you will use to clone the, the code from the source repository to your computer. Uh, and that will also allow you to, to manage this source code on your local machine. So Git is very useful software. If you don't know about it, I suggest you, you find some tutorials and, and learn it. Then you have OpenMPI, which is used for the parallel computation. So I'll show you how to install the parallel uh, version of that. Okay, so let's go forward. And now I am on Ubuntu version 18.04. So that's the supported version, um, which is great. So I'll just copy this code here. I'll go into my terminal on this one. I'll open a new one. Um, copy that code. If you don't know how to copy code, you have to press the center button of your mouse, the wheel button, or right click paste, right? I didn't know that sometime before. So <laughs> sometimes you see hey, how, how this guy copying stuff, but this, this is useful to know this. Okay, so I, I pasted all that and all of those modules will now be installed. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the module have been installed. And because I already had them, so it didn't actually download them. But you know, if you had not the software, then they would be installed. Um, now you have to install the packages for Paraview because I will be compiling OpenFoam and Paraview. 
copy that and in the same way install it. So it was pretty fast because I, I had already everything installed. Now that this is done, we can go to the next step, which is uh, actually downloading the open form source code. Uh, and for that, there is um, there is a choice to make is where do you want to put this source code? So as it's uh, written here, you have to choose a directory. Um, and what they tell you is that it's often recommended to put it into home open form. So I have to create a folder called open form. Uh, or if you want to install it for all the users, uh, you can put it in OPT, but don't put the source code in OPT and try to compile it from the OPT uh, file. I tried that before and uh, it just doesn't work because you need to have admin privileges to, to compile the code and it's it's very, uh, it, it doesn't work basically. So always put it into home or something like that. And then you can move the install in OPT if you want. Um, okay, so let's, uh, I'll create graphically the folder. So open form. Okay, I now I have now my open form folder. Let's open this in terminal. So I'm now inside this folder into my terminal. And what I'll do is that I will cd into my open form folder. And now I will clone the source code. So to clone the source code, I have to co to clone the source code from those two uh, directories, the open from dev and third party dev, because I, I will need those two together. So if you want the, the version eight of open form, you'll have to choose two other directories. So here I just take those comments separately and I will clone them into my, uh, my folder. So this might take some time, depending on your uh, internet connection. So if everything goes well with the cloning, you will find yourself with those two uh, directories. So this one contains the source code. So the source code is into the SRC file. So here you have all the source code of OpenFOAM. Um, then you have the tutorials uh, and you have this script, all w make. So this is the script that will be used to compile OpenFOAM. Uh, and the second is the third party um, software. So I'll, let's have a look at what this is in the next uh, part, so setting up the OpenFOAM environment. Now, um, the thing about the environment, uh, if you never heard this word environment, what does it mean first? Let me explain a bit. Um, when you install a software into your Linux computer, uh, your computer doesn't know where the software is. So you can put it anywhere, right? In any folder you want. Your computer doesn't know there is a software located in this place. So there is this concept of environment, which is basically um, some kind of, uh, so it's a file in which you basically tell your computer where all the software are located. Uh, and this file is generally, um, it's called the bash RC file. So if I go into my, my home, now I am, I'm in home, uh, I do an ls dot la and the la is important because it shows the hidden files. Uh, I have some files which are which have a small dot before them. So those files are hidden, basically. So which means that if I go in the graphical interface, I don't see them, but they are here. And this bash rc file is the one that will, in which I will set up my current environment. So this file is loaded every time I open a new uh, terminal. So let's open this bash rc. So you can use any text editor. So I'm using Emacs, but you know, feel free to use any text editor. Bash rc. And this is how it looks. So you might, you can customize it, but what is inside the script is basically called bash script. So this is a, 
this is the main scripting language for, for Linux. Um, and here at the end, what I'm going to put is this um, the link to the bash RC of OpenFold. Um, so let's let's actually uncommand that, and I have to change the name here of the folder because it's not uh, in small characters. So make sure you have all capital letters and everything where where it should be. Um, so it means that adding this line here into this bash RC file of your computer will make your computer able to find out all the executable uh, files of OpenFOAM. And why is that? Uh, it's because if you go into you go into your OpenFOAM dev, so etc, you have also a bash rc file here. So let's open this one with a text editor. And this file here is basically what um, tells where all the important uh, folders of OpenFOAM are located. So what a computer, your computer does is that when it loads the main bashrc file, it will start to look for the OpenFOAM bashrc file, it will read the bashrc file from OpenFOAM, and it will save all the OpenFOAM variables into your environment, and then you will know exactly where your OpenFOAM is. Uh, and now that I have uh, I have put that into my bashrc file. So in order to load it again, I have to close that and open my terminal again to load it. Um, now let's see if um, if it worked. So here you can test. So it tells you, for example, the va the variable wm project dir um, should return the path to your repository directory. So if if this command works and you get something in return when you play that, it means that you have loaded correctly your environment. And now you see I'm doing an echo and uh, this variable. I'm getting the path to my OpenFOAM dev folder. So it works. Cool. I was able to load up my environment. Okay, then now that this is done, let's go to installing the third party software. Uh, so in the third party software, uh, those are software that OpenFOAM will rely on to do some particular tasks. So this is the Open MPI version um, of OpenFOAM, so the parallel version that I want to use. So I will need Scotch and PD Scotch for domain decomposition. Uh, so what it means is that it will this is the, this particular uh, software will cut your CFD domain into different parts that will be used for parallel computing and then sent to OpenMPI. Uh, I will need Paraview for post-processing um, and I will need this uh, computational geometry algorithm library. Okay, so those those are the, the software that I will need. Now it looks a bit complicated to install but actually it's pretty simple. You have a script called all w make into um, into your folder open foam third party here here it is all w make so the only thing i have to do is to open this folder into the terminal so make sure you are into the right folder and let's run this so all all w and make Okay, so um, it's pretty quick on that machine because I already installed it before. Um, otherwise, it might take one or two minutes, but it's it's not that uh, difficult. And now, check that everything is installed correctly. So in this case, it's built PT Scotch, built Scotch, and it installed it in those directories. So it shows you where those software actually have been installed. And make sure you have no error because sometimes you get some errors and, and and then you have to have a look at what uh, is happening. Um, and now let's uh, install Paraview. So this is uh, probably the step that will take the most time uh, is actually compilation of Paraview. So this um, there is a script called make Paraview that will compile, download and compile Paraview for you. So this uh, this makes it pretty easy, uh, but this will take um, 
easily two hours uh, in my machine. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's go and uh, right before before I actually uh, compile Paraview, let's have a look at the script because there are some options into this um, this make Paraview script. So if you look at, for example, if you want to compile with Python, then you have to uh, set up this variable to true and uh, give it the the link to the Python library, or if you want to compile it with OS Mesa for a support of uh, a screenless uh, type of uh, rendering. If you're on a server, for example, which doesn't have um, the GPU integrated and all that, you, you will have to, to set up this. Um, in my case, I'm on a normal computer, um, so and I will compile it without Python. So I'll just run the basic script. make power view and um, it will take some time to download and to compile all that so I'll just come back when uh, this will be finished so when you finish to compile power view um, if you you want to keep your uh, navigator open enter this command refresh to refresh the environment otherwise you can just like I did open a new uh, command prompt and, and now we're ready to compile open foam finally. So I'll use exactly the same method. So I'll go into the open foam dev and you have this all w make script. So this script all w make has some options that we can. So let's open the terminal. Let's have a look at the help. Uh, as you see, it's written. You can, you can like that all w make. And if you add a dash help, you will see the kind of options you can add and some of those are silence or quiet mode uh, it doesn't um, put you it doesn't all put all, all the code while it uh, will compile you have the so this command is probably the most useful the J which will compile using all the local cores uh, available on your computer so to compile in parallel and I highly uh, recommend to use this because it will be much faster. So let's do that. Let's add a J and let's just uh, compile open foam. So when this is done, um, quick word about updating the system because regularly those source uh, code is uh, changed and updated. So you have to use the git pull command into your uh, directory uh, to pull out the new code. And then you can use this code again, all w make update. And this will basically just uh, rebuild everything, but using uh, the new code. So very uh, easy. And, and then the update build does not compile correctly. Uh, then you can use w clean platform uh, to, to clean up everything before uh, comp compiling again. And that's basically it. So now I have compiled again open foam. So let's um, let's test if this works. So to test, I'll just use the basic example that was provided into the Donald page. Okay, so this this is the getting started code, which um, which basically should be working now that I have uh, installed this new version of Open Foam. So let's try that. So let's um, let's go into let's let's make dr foam run. So to make sure I have. Um, Let's cd into my open foam directory. And you see that this Cyprian dev um, directory has been created. And there is a run folder into it, which has nothing into it yet. So that's good. So now I am into this phone run folder. 
Let's copy um, the tutorial example, Pete's Daily. Don't forget the, to copy the dot here. Um, and now I have it into my directory. Let's uh, cd into it. Let's uh, mesh it. Block mesh. Seems to be working up to here. Let's run the simple foam solver. Simple foam. Yeah, seems to be working as well. And now let's use the paraform command to uh, open all of that into Paraview. Ah, open form reader. Okay, I have to select this one. Okay, and now I can see my uh, model. So it works, basically. Cool. So we were able now to download source code and install, uh, compile both OpenFOAM and Paraview. And now I'm able to, to use the latest sources for OpenFOAM. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Um, and if you have any question, leave them into the comments of the video. And if this was useful, give a like to the video as well. It took me a lot of time to, to prepare this. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.